Whenever a merger happens between two railroad companies, all the assets from the other railroad would transfer over to the merging railroad and often repaint it into the corporate colors. One of the more recent mergers was the creation of CP Casey, of which CP's roster still had remnants of leftover fallen flag locomotives from past mergers. Of these, was the GP40 still wearing its original colors after three mergers? 2010 was built in October 1966 as one of 72 GP40s built for the Milwaukee Road. The road would classify their units as 30 ERS 4s and soon were put to work on the road's freight trains. However, following the Milwaukee Road's merger of the Sioux line in 1986, the locomotive would soon be patched over with its number still intact. These units would be nicknamed Bandits due to how the Sioux line tried to patch out the Milwaukee Road identification, which came out with a rather interesting result. As the years went on, the fleet of Bandits would slowly be sold off to other railroads or eventually repainted in Canadian Pacific colors. But as for 2010, the unit would be untouched into the days of Canadian Pacific where it was still working in Wisconsin primarily on local trains. However, around 2016, most of Canadian Pacific's older EMDs would slowly be sold off and stored away as a result of Hunter Harrison's implementation of precision scheduled railroading. The locomotive would be moved off to Minneapolis for storage for many years, and more recently was moved to St. Paul for storage. However, the Bandit hasn't seen revenue service for over 8 years. Given the fact that most of the older EMBs have been sold off in recent years, we can assume this locomotive will be sold off soon, putting an end to this locomotive's career. Lasting 67 years in service, surviving three mergers, and still keeping its original livery, albeit patched up, this little bandit served a rather lively career, and serves as a representation of a bygone era of North American railroading.